How's it going guys, Sir uh, Teapot here. Today we are back with more story of Teapot. And today, um, I think I need to go outside today. I need to do things outside, which is not very great because it's Friday. Yeah, you forgot it was Friday, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, Friday is a disastrous. Uh, today's not going to be a fun day if I need to go out for some toilet roll. I've got no choice but to go out. <clears throat> but it is kind of early. I think it's like maybe like quarter to ten, quarter to eleven, sorry, currently. Yeah, probably. So I'm going to literally throw some clothes on. And just get straight out because um, the closer it gets to lunch time, normally the worse it gets. So I'm just going to get outside and get out and just get on with it today. But as you can probably guess this morning, because I'm big on turn if you've missed her, I am joined by um, Evie. And um, yeah, Evie, um, well, Evie, Evie and Kim came and woke me up this morning. It's, like I said, it's, she came and woke me up at about half past ten. How long have you been awake this morning? Since five past nine. Jesus, I told you to wake me up. I did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I do apologies. Yeah, okay. um, but yeah, so apparently, I, apparently Kim tried waking me up at 9 o'clock this morning, but I don't recall a single, sec a single bit of that. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to get ready now, get downstairs and get straight out. So I'll just crack on with day and get on with it. Cause I can't be bothered uh, just sitting around and waiting for 12 o'clock to come around for every other bugger to be out. So, as I said, I am uh, now making my way out. Hopefully you guys can hear me all right. Uh, let me just hold this still. There we go. Uh, so yeah, I'm on my way out to um, B&M. One sec. Ah, there we go. I can actually breathe a bit better now. No point having it up when literally there's no one around at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put it back on properly when I get back in, when I get into town centre. Um, but yeah, I'm just bobbing into B&M. Go get some toilet roll. Few bits and pieces if they've got it and stuff, and they're coming straight home because not fancy being out for long today. Because at the end of the day, I reckon it will be very, very busy today with it being, like I said, a Friday. And one of the busiest days without fail always is Friday. And Friday is my pay day as well, so I always end up going out on a Friday, and it's always a nightmare. But with the weather being pretty poor, I'm hoping that there's less people about, and it makes it a lot easier for me. So I'm now on my way home from being in the shops and as I said it was kind of busy, it wasn't too bad though. Probably only to wait just behind, by, behind like four people or something like that. But as you may be able to tell, it has become very very miserable very quickly. One second. There we go. I can fucking breathe now. There's no one about so I might as well take it off. Um, so yeah, I'm, like I said, on my way home and it's just... The weather is absolutely horrible right now, it's absolutely chucking it down. So I'm gonna, well I'm in a bit of a rush to get home. Just to be honest, just wanna get in and just chill out cause I really can't do with being in this weather. So I've been home for about maybe 20 minutes as well, something like that now. And um, I am all by myself. There is no one here at the moment cause Kim has just set off to go horse riding and uh, he was asleep. So I've just sat here watching Whippy. Uh, play some GTA RP. I'm gonna jump on a game soon. Still don't know what. Welcome to my life, basically though. Never know what I want to play. And um, yeah, I've been obviously shopping. I've got some bits and pieces like food and stuff like that. And um, I also bought these because I saw these and I was like, ooh, why not? Why not do something different for a change? So I have got some uh, Pokemon trading cards, Sword and Shield. And who doesn't love a bit of Pokemon in the life? Um, I've played Sword and Shield. It's actually really, really good to be fair. Um, but I ended up getting rid of it, and I recently saw that the, I saw that there were DLC coming out for it anyway. <clears throat> but when I saw that it was coming out originally, I was like, "Oh God, Pokemon DLC? Oh, no, I have no interest in that." And then they released a trailer like maybe like two days ago, three days ago, and I was absolutely blown away, and it looked absolutely amazing. So might have to get Sword and Shield again. Uh, but yeah, I thought I'd um, open these and uh, yeah, and see what we get. See if we actually get anything decent. Because to be fair, I like a lot of the um, actual characters from uh, Sword and Shield. So I hopefully get a decent uh, a decent uh, Pokemon, because if I don't, I'll be quite disappointed. Just realised as well. I, well, I don't know, I didn't realise it really, but like I've kind of had a thought, how different these packets are compared to what they used to be like. Like, they're a bit crazy. Um, I'm going to set you up somewhere so like I can actually talk to you properly. Let me... Oh, this will come in handy, actually. <clears throat> nope, that's too high. Damn it. Uh, I need to put, put you somewhere lower. There we are, good to put you there. Sorted. Uh, so yeah, um, so it's like really, really thin and stuff like that. You just open it with the back, 
Welcome to Unboxing with Teapot. This is the first kind of like unboxing kind of thing I've ever really done, apart from the sweets and stuff that I've got in past. So I don't want to like damage anything. So I'll try not to rip it open like an absolute potato. Ugh, there we go. Got there in end. English Booster Pack 1. Why oh, it's so difficult? How how can I how come I can't get into this? But kids can. Okay, so that's different on the outside, and then I get another bit piece of packaging, which is a bit ridiculous. But I'll I'll take it, and it's got um yeah that guy I can't remember his fucking name, I'm fucking useless. Um, but yeah, let's dive into him. All right, see who we get if we get anything good or not. Open them this way. I don't know how it works anymore. I haven't opened Pokemon cards in years. Yeah, online trading thing. I don't fucking know. Right, first. Chatoot. Who? Cool. <laughs> it does something. Jesus Christ, I haven't opened Pokemon cards in years. It looks so weird. Next. An energy card. Whoa! So incredible! Wow! Oh, okay. Um, Palpitoad. I'll take Palpitoad. Palpitoad's kind of cool, actually. It looks like an absolute paella light, but it looks alright. Oh, Jesus. And he only knows one move, bless him. Oh, great. Another energy card. Yay! Well, next. Oh, hello. Bob. Barbicle? Barbicle? Yes, that one. Wait, one second. Is it gonna? No, nope, not gonna focus. Ah, well, I tried. Next, we have got. Oh, shiny. Well, shiny outside. I don't know. I don't know how shinies work anymore. But it's a Galarian Cosola. That thing. Woo! And there you go, you can see the shiny on it. Kind of cool. I like the shiny a little bit on that. Uh, right, who we got next? Ooh, we got an original first gen Magma. I'm quite happy with that. I'll take an original start Pokemon. I'm really, really happy about that. Flip a coin. If the if it says the damage does thirty, the more damage. What? Oh, imp, um, Impidimp. I think that's his name. Impidimp. Impidimp. I don't have a fucking clue what his name is, but he's kind of cool. I, I I really liked him in um, Sword and Shield, so quite happy with that one. What have we got next? I feel like I've opened him more than ten cards here. Oh, sick! I got Horn Edge as well, which is the um. So uh, the sword Pokemon, which I think is new to this generation, but I'm not quite sure if it is or not. Don't hold me to that. But I've got a feeling it might actually be new to the generation. Where we go next? Ooh, a Natu. Natu's a pretty meh Pokemon, but I'm quite happy with a Natu there. I'm quite happy with any of these cards, to be fair, because it's been about... God, nearly 15 years since I've opened Pokemon cards or something like that. Like, I used to collect, like, wrestling cards and all that kind of nonsense. But, yeah, we've got the last card here. I can see what it is, though, by this looking at it in the thing. But it's Electrobuzz, and I'm quite happy with an Electrobuzz, to be fair. Because, again, I love my Gen 1, because I'm that old. I love my Gen 1. Um, but, yeah, these are really, really, really cool. I'm really, really happy with these. I wish I could have got um, an Electrobuzz as a shiny or something like that. But I'm still happy with the shiny I got, because it looks really, really cool. Like I said, it's awesome. I've got to go with, like, Electrobuzz is, like, like, probably my favourite. To be fair, I've got a decent range of cards, to be fair. Like, I like them all. <laughs> There's only a handful that I'm not a big fan of. I like that one. I like that one. And, yeah, that one's okay. So, like, these ones... Jesus, they're losing them. These ones, I'm really happy with. Like, there's, like, six cards there that I'm happy with, which is more than... More than brilliant, because it's very rare that you actually get more than two cards that you actually have within a Pokemon deck. So, if you if you guys want me to open more of these or something like that, just for laugh, just to have a throwback or something like that, then let me know, because I'll buy some more. They're not too expensive, but they're not not exactly cheap either. I think I got them for like three ninety nine or something like that, so not really too bad. So, and uh, they do like big packs for like 10 99 and stuff like that. So, if you guys really, really wanted to see it and um, you really enjoyed me doing this, then let me know. I'll buy a big packs and stuff like that and I'll open, open some more stuff. And it doesn't even have to be Pokemon. I can open anything, to be fair, because I like collecting stuff and I like just random crap like this because it's a lot of fun just to have a mess about with sometimes, isn't it? So, if you guys have any more like things like this that you that you suggest I could buy and stuff like that, then let me know in the comments below as well, because I'll definitely check them out. So 
So Kim has literally just got home and I was about to go get Evie because um, she's just um, not long woken up. Uh, ten or, already ten of white noise off, so it isn't ridiculously loud, but someone is in a very, very, very good mood. Hello. Yeah, so she's in a good mood, which is good to know, but I need to find a dummy, which is going to be... Oh, wait. Found it. <laughs> found it straight away. Even easier. Stick that on my little finger. So there we are. So, yeah, I'm going to get her downstairs. Come on. Yeah. Can you say hello? Can you say hi after your long nap? No, don't want to say hi yet. She's probably not fully woken up yet. But we'll get downstairs, get her in a pit, and get, well, say hello to Kim, because like I just said, Kim's only just got home from horse riding, so I'm going to start going to say hello to her. So I need to quickly um, brace the um, horrible outdoors that is that we have at the moment and it's really wet through and cold because I need to go over here I need to get this jar or well, this jug that has I'm um, collecting some rainwater in so we can water the piece lily the actual bloody glass is wetter than got more water on it than the actual glass itself like but uh, at least we actually managed to get some after all this woody time because if you've been watching this vlog for a little bit now you'll have known that over the past like Nearly two weeks now, it will have been nearly, maybe even a bit longer. I've been trying to collect rainwater, just to water my piece lily. And I've managed today, to, today, only just been able to actually get some. It's been that bloody dry in England, but it's not even bloody that much. And it's literally, look how little that is. Literally barely any. But hopefully, it's better than absolutely nothing though. That will, well, we'll get better than the um, tap water that we were giving it before. Which is good, and plus, I do need to give it a bit of a prune today as well, because some of the leaves on it have um, sadly died, and there's another one back here as well. But it does happen, it's just natural life of a plant. They die, and then re new ones grow, and it's already started producing new ones. But I'm going to prune them off, so it's not wasting its energy on like dead old, um, dead old like stems basically. So I'm going to crack on with it and get it all nice and watered. So guys, Evie is uh, just having, well, she's literally just had some uh, yoghurt. She's just down there with Kim, and Kim just gave us some yoghurt, and she's left some, left some, she's, well, she's not eating it all, she couldn't eat it all, so I'm probably going to eat it, because it's good, good old vanilla yoghurt. Can't beat some good old... Madagascan vanilla. Oh yeah, Madagascan, got to be very specific. Uh, but I have not long put um, some pictures up around the um, living room as well, so obviously you've probably seen this one a lot recently, like, well, in every single vlog. Quite it's been up, this has been up since we moved in. Um, it's, you know, you don't know. And for some reason, you can't read, even though it is backwards. Um, it says Achievement Hunter, um, which is um, the Rooster Teeth gaming company thing. And that post is like, oh God, very old. I want to say like six, maybe seven years old or something like that. Yes, it's an Extra Life post, which is um, a charity event that they do every year. And I've got like every single year apart from this year's, because uh, this year's, to be honest, didn't look that great. Um, it was literally just a heart on literally a red poster compared to that thing, which looks mad as old. Uh, it literally was a red poster with a white heart on it. I was like, that's not right cracking. So I didn't bother this year. But I've got every other one from every other year, so which is even better. So I'm going to put all them up eventually. I just need to get more frames from. But anyway, going through the pictures that I have put up. This picture I've had... Again, a long, 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 long time. It used to be like from a child. It's from my childhood and stuff. Is that? And I completely forgot I had it. To be fair, my dad gave me it back like a few months ago, and we had it just hidden back there um, with all the rest of the junk and stuff. Um, so I just thought I'd put that up. This I got from a charity shop about Oof. God, about three months ago now, um, and it's just a beautiful picture of a rabbit, well, a hair or whatever. Uh, I think it looks great, so I thought put that up as well. Then we've got over here. We've got this little picture, which I need to get pretty close to it to be fair, because it is kind of small, but it's just of a, I don't even know, like a river with some cottage, cottages and some ducks on and stuff. And I got that from uh, same same place I got the um, hair picture, uh, which is really cool. And the last one is um, one that Kim got from um, got from her mum, which is, oh God, the reflection is not great on that. There we go. So it is obviously the... A picture of, well, a picture of the Earth, the globe, whatever, and but it is... Zodiacs. Yeah, like a zodiac thing, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it is actually shiny as well. Um, gold it, shine. Yeah, it's like a gold shine to it, but um, it is a bit difficult to obviously see when you're looking at it on camera and stuff like that. 
Um, but yeah, it is really, really cool. It does help the room as well a lot because the room looks a lot fuller now. Uh, it doesn't feel as echoey either, which is very, very nice. We've been here nearly a year. We've only just put pictures up. Great. <laughs> um, but we'll eventually get there. Eventually, things will be finished because we've still got like <clears throat> pictures to put up in bedroom as well and all sorts. So oh, it's just going to be probably it's like 10 years down the line. We're still going to be putting things in place where we want it. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I'm going to be uh, chilling out now. Um, don't really have anywhere to go, I don't think. Um, I'm going to be watching some Tom, just waiting for him to come back because he's buggered off somewhere. And I'm going to play some video games, but I don't know what I want to play, to be fair. Yet. I'm even thinking No Man's Sky or Fallout, but I feel like I've overplayed Fallout a little bit, and I don't, and I don't want to um, burn myself out on it, so I might have to play some, bur uh, some Burnout. No, no, not Burnout. Some No Man's Sky. So, um, I... Well, Eva has just not long gone to bed and uh, Kim, he's gone upstairs to play some Planet Zoo. And I'm watching, um, where, where is it? Tom? There? But um, I'm going to be going out in uh, about five minutes because I need to quickly run to a shop. Because you may notice at the time that it's nearly six o'clock. I need to run to a shop and <clears throat> get a few bits and pieces because I forgot some stuff earlier. So I need to run to a shop and head out, but I'm only going to be out for literally ten minutes because I'm literally running to a like local shop that doesn't have people um, queuing outside usually and stuff like that. So I'm going to basically run in, grab, grab like, I need milk. Um, what else do I need? I've got a list on my phone, I can't really remember. Just, yeah, I need to get off in a minute anyway. And um, I'm currently downloading Yazooka. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering that. I'm downloading Yazooka Zero. I've already got that installed, so I'm going to be playing that when I come back. But I've also got Yazooka Kiwami, Kiwami which is the first one um, remade for uh, Xbox One. So I'm quite excited to actually play that myself because Zero looked really, really good, and Kiwami looks even better. I've seen people, I've seen uh, Ray play them both, and they both look really, really good. So I'm quite excited to actually jump into them. But yeah, I need to get off, so I need to get my shoes on and get going. So I'm outside again, as I said, literally as always going out. I'm going outside again, and yeah, making my way to the shop now. And to be fair, thank you so much. It's a lot nicer than it was early because obviously earlier it was chucking it down and now it's clear skies so it's nice to see that well it's not battering it down anymore but to be fair do need some more rainwater <laughs> um, for my uh, peace lily so i could do with it raining just it can hold off until i get home and then it can throw it down all at once because then i could just chill out again and i could sit in my chair and just relax so I've um, not long been home from going out and uh, I didn't film at all while I were out because literally about five minutes after I went out, my phone decided to die. So I didn't manage to uh, I didn't manage to be able to film anything, but um, I'm home now. I'm just in the bedroom with Kim. And Kim's over there. There's a planet zoo still. And uh, Evie is just in the bedroom. She's watching um, Postman Pat at the moment. Uh, so yeah, just puts, it's the old school Postman Pat as well from like... Mine and Kim's childhood, and not the new nonsense stuff that, I, that I've seen, and it looks like absolute weird Play-Doh nonsense. Um, it's for the proper like old school where they look kind of uh, kind of fluffy as well. It's kind of strange. That fluff. Yeah, that weird felt fluff stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs soon and play uh, Yokozuma um, Zero because I can't wait to play it. It looks really really fun. Um, I'm really really excited. And to be fair, I'm glad I'm taking a break from Fallout because my brain feels battered from that game like i feel like i've been shagged by it it's a bit mad how, how like in, in, intensive it actually is without really realizing i feel like i haven't really done much that's the thing about it like i feel like i've just done a whole lot of nothing but there's just you just lose yourself in it like you start like playing it and then all of a sudden it's you've been playing it for six hours and you're like wait what where's, where's this century gone <laughs> uh, but yeah so nice to actually have a break from that today uh, but knowing me, I'll probably be back on it tomorrow anyway. Or knowing me, be back on it later tonight because I'm an absolute idiot. So it's feeding time for Evie and today she seems to be enjoying it again because she's having chicken casserole. And obviously she's had this a few times before uh, but she seems to be um, really loving it at the minute. She's just chucking it back and every time I'm not bloody quick enough, she whinges at me. So I'm having to be super quick at the moment and get it down. As quick as possible, or else you'll winch at me. So I better get to feeding her as quickly as quickly as possible. So, Evie has now finished all her food to no one's surprise again, and uh, yeah, she is an absolute little junky monkey. But I think she's still a little bit hungry. So I think we're going to be giving her some uh, either some yogurt or a biscuit soon. 
Um, more than likely going to be a biscuit though, because don't want to be giving her um, many more yogurts, because don't want to be overfilling her with sweet stuff and stuff like that, especially when, with her teeth and stuff like that. Well, with a do bottom teeth, um, so don't really want to get in any sugar or anything like that on them. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give her a biscuit probably in the next half an hour or so, and then um, gonna I'm probably gonna jump on uh, yeah, Kazuma soon and play some video games. Aren't I? Yeah, I am, yeah. Yeah, really? You got all to say? Wow, that's interesting, is that? Yeah. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Right. <laughs> right, anyway. So I'm going to go play video games now, because, um, like I said, Evie is now finished, so I'm going to get in my chair that Kim's currently in, and um, actually chill out for a little bit and just relax. So guys, I need an actual outro of this vlog because I haven't actually done one yet um, and I don't think I really filmed much of uh, last night either to be fair, I think, to be honest though, I didn't really have much to film, I kind of just sat in this chair and played video games most of the night and talked to my friends, um, so there wasn't a whole lot that really actually happened last night, but I did end up having a pretty chill night just playing Fallout most of the night, so, um, and I ended up going to bed straight after playing anyway, so there were not really to film afterwards, I literally got upstairs and just passed out straight away because I was just so goddamn tired. Because I ended up just losing track of time. Like, I just sat there for so long. And I looked at the clock and it was like half past two or something like that. And I was like, Jesus Christ. So I just went straight upstairs and straight to bed. But anyway, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you do leave a like and do subscribe. Also, share it with your friends as well. Because it helps a lot more than you actually think. Anyway, guys. I hope to see you guys in tomorrow's video at 5pm. And peace.